Hi there, today I'm going to teach you how to create your own felty designs using Sew Art on Windows by Stephanie DeWolf. Okay, we're going to need a piece of felt and your stabilizer, machine set up, get everything set up. Um, and then come over here into your paint program. I have mine down here because I use it a lot, but most people have it hiding in their um, programs. So you'll find it. I can't find it in mine. I have too much. Okay. So I open up paint and right here they give you a box of already pre-made shapes, which are fantastic, especially for embroidery because the lines are clean already. You don't have to clean things up and you can use them and merge them and stuff like that. Fantastic. And fill them. Okay. So I think that's a pretty heart. So once I've got my heart, the shape and size that I want it, I click out so that it sets. And then I hit select. And then I'm just going to select the heart. Make sure you don't get any of the black inside of your selection. You want to be just outside of it. Select, copy, and then paste. And it's going to paste right on top of the heart I already had. But I can grab it and move it over. That's the goal. Okay, and we're going to do that two more times to get a total of four hearts. Okay, so that's about the size that my machine would make nicely, you know, without it looking jumbled and gross. So, okay, and it gives me room to cut around everybody. All right, so... Okay, now we're going to go copy, and we're going to open up SewArt. SewArt's going to give us this big, beautiful, empty canvas. We're going to paste. It's going to paste the last thing you copy, so make sure that you hit copy when you're in paint. So, um, resize it. This one says 96. I normally put it at 95, but 96 is just fine. Um, just don't go over the size for your personal machine. And mine is a 4x4, so I need it to be 100 at the max. But I usually keep it around 95 to be safe. Um, the colors, you don't need to reduce them in this instance since there's only two and you didn't really do any scanning. Um, we can do this on this on so art, but you can't, at least I haven't figured out how to make the multiples of the same image, like with the hearts, copy and paste like that. Um, so now we go straight to stitch image, and you're going to go to outline, center line, and you're going to change right here, you're going to change this, where it says height on here, you're going to change it to 2, and where it says length on here, you're going to change it to 40. And whenever you click on your first heart, you're going to notice your stitch over here. It's going to say separation of two, length of 40. So that just means that it's going to make a little, a little stop to separate it, but it's going to be a longer stitch. And you'll see what I mean when we stitch them out. So my machine is going to want to do that. That. Okay, and then you make sure that they're all over here. Separation 2, length 40. Ah, I did this again. Sorry. Make sure that it's a bean stitch, not a running stitch. Okay. Okay, I'm going to clear stitches. Make sure it's a bean stitch. It's an easy mistake to make. Okay, and it kept it with my settings, which makes me very happy. Make sure you're clicking only on the black. If you click on the white, it'll try to put a stitch in the middle, and it'll be really funny looking. It doesn't really matter because you'll cut them out, but it's just an extra step. Okay, so it says bean. Everything is good. I'm going to do file, save. And I'm going to save it directly to my removable disc. And see, I've been practicing today and doing the heart felties. 
Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and do it again right on top of this one that I already have. But right here you can give it a new name and make sure it's in your file format. It's going to automatically come up as brother. I don't know if that's default or if that's just because I've done it so many times that it's smart like that. Um, but make sure that your file type is for your machine and the pattern size is no bigger than your hoop can handle. Alrighty, so I'm going to hit save. I know it exists, thank you. Okay, and so it stitches out over here in this cute little dot looking pattern. And I'm going to show you over here what um, the difference is between the preset. Oh, maybe you can't tell that well. Well, the preset is basically a stitch that doesn't separate at all. And these are just my practice ones, but I don't know if you can really tell. These ones do separate. Um, I have set the separation at 60, but that seems to be too... Not the separation, the length at 60, that seems to be too big. So maybe 50 um, will give you a bigger stitch to kind of give you that more hand-sewn look. I think is what we're kind of going for on those edges. Um, I'm going to go ahead and print out this file that I just created and I'll be back with you. Okay guys, I've added some letters and um, some wording. I was going to do just some simple initials, but I thought these would be cute. Um, I didn't show you guys how to add the letters because I'm still working on my spacing and stuff as well. Um, the heart down at the bottom inside the heart is one of our pre-programmed designs that are on the Brother SE425 and I think probably the 400 too. Um, I don't know much about machines more than that, but this is one of our pre-programmed designs. I tried to try to put it on there, but again, my spacing I'm still working on. So you see how this works. Um, you just cut them out after this. Go ahead and play with the, the different stitch lengths and separations and um, you know, till you get it how you want it, but making felties is really, really easy. And um, the better you get, the more you can try. You can try things that are more advanced, maybe um, stuff that has more fills inside of it. You know, the really cute stuff you see on Etsy. Um, if you have any other questions or advice for me, that would be wonderful. Um, thank you so much. Have a great day.